Hey everybody, today I got a review of a stock class pack, the Gen X Global 10 round stock class pack. I wasn't expecting a whole lot out of this pack because GXG is really one of the lower priced paintball companies as far as their gear goes, but I was pleasantly surprised with the quality and the features offered by their stock class pack. First, the panel itself is actually padded a little bit. It's got a bit of thickness to it. It's not just basically the same material as the belt with the loop sewn onto it. It's uh, fairly substantial. And just looking around at like the stitching and everything, it seems pretty good. It seems pretty high quality. There's double stitching around the edges, single kind of in between the loops, for instance so that might get loose after a while. I can't say I've used it for a long period of time. Maybe after a year I'd have a different opinion, but uh, the quality seems to be higher than I was expecting. The belt, similarly, is a pretty nice design. You can see it's nice and wide here. This is actually two different pieces of material that are at a slight angle to each other. Let me open this up for you here. So you can see that's actually two pieces of material, one uh, a little bit higher than the other, so they are wider and then they get narrower as they overlap. This also creates a little bit of an angle in the way the belt sits relative to the pack, which is nice. It's actually designed ergonomically for the contours of a body and not just, you know, as a cylinder that's flat all around. So that's a nice uh, kind of little bit of thought that went into this that you wouldn't necessarily expect to see. You also have these elastic parts on the sides of the belt, very similar to the PB Mafia 550 50 round harness. Okay, you've got those elastic bits right there, uh, make for a high degree of flexibility in the sizing. And then you have very wide Velcro patches, both wide in terms of their height, but wide in terms of how much adjustability is allowed. So you can make this belt very tight or very loose. You have a lot of flexibility built into the sizing here. That's probably about as big as it can get but you can get this all the way down to like 28 inches or less on the waist. It's very adjustable. And again, because of the width of the Velcro panels and of the belt in general, it's also very secure. Now, the important part, right? The actual stock class part. The capacity of this harness is 16 tubes or 160 rounds. Theoretically, it could be 18 tubes, but right here in the middle where these two loops are for tubes, there's no elastic. Instead, there's the GXG little logo thing. These pouches are not sufficient to hold the tubes. They will not secure the tubes independently. You need to use the elastic loops. So these two really aren't all that helpful. Your tubes will probably fly out if you try to stick a tube in there without having the loop. So the theoretical capacity of this harness is 18 tubes, but in practice, it's really only 16. Now you can run this capped or capless. It's kind of up to you, however you're comfortable doing it. But as I said, these will not hold the tubes. You need to use the elastic harness, whichever way you end up doing it. The Elastic loops are very similar to those that you find on the Ronin stock class gear, the wrist harnesses and the old suspender harnesses, which means they're secure, but after a few years of heavy use, they will wear out, and the most commonly used ones will lose their elasticity and stop being able to hold tubes. If you've used either a Ronin suspender harness or a wrist harness, you know that after a long period of time, certain loops start to wear out, and if you're running or something, I used to have a wrist harness, and after a while there were two loops I couldn't use because when I was running, the tubes would fly out because they would be too loose. The same kind of thing I could totally see happening over here because the material in the loops is so similar. But again, I haven't used this long term. After a year, I might say, hey, they look great. There's no stretching at all. Or I might say, yeah, they got really bad after like two uses. So uh, I can't really comment on that. But my take on it from the material is that you're probably good for a couple years, two or three years of moderate to heavy use, you're gonna start seeing some wearing out on the loops. In addition to holding 16 to 18 10 round tubes, you also have loops on the edge for 12 grams. Although I guess you could stick maybe another couple of tubes in there if you wanted, but I believe these are really designed to hold 12 gram cartridges. So you've got 16 tubes and six 12 gram cartridges. That's the capacity of this pack, which is a pretty substantial capacity. That's really not bad at all. Three more small features I wanna point out going back to the belt. First, on the belt, you have a little clip on one side for like your game card. Uh, if you have like a player ID card or uh, maybe keys or something, although I'm not sure I would trust this with keys because it's just plastic. On the other side, you have a small zipper pouch. That's great for like uh, your ID, cash, credit card, whatever. Nice little thing right on your belt there. And then finally, this is something that comes with it. This is a cover for the Velcro. It's got two little bits of Velcro, uh, one on each end. And basically when the belt is fully closed, the point is to use this to cover up the exposed Velcro. Basically the whole point of this thing is that when you have the belt like this and it's on and you still have some of this stuff exposed, 
you use this to cover up the remaining Velcro. This uh, serves two purposes. One, nothing's going to get caught on that and kind of catch you uh, as you're playing. And two, it provides an additional layer of security on the belt, making sure it doesn't shift on you. So that's a pretty cool little feature. For all of these features, now for all of these features, which decent quality, high capacity, some cool stuff with the belt, this pack is dirt cheap. The normal price is somewhere between $10 and $20, but you can sometimes find it on sale for less than $10. And for all of the features you get, that is pretty incredible. It certainly doesn't have the quality of something like a PB Mafia pack or a Whiskey 2.4 setup, but for the price, it's really hard to beat the list of features you get right here. So that's my take on the Gen X Global Stock Class Harness. Thanks for watching. See you next time.